Well, good morning. It is Tuesday, the uh, 17th of May, and I am fishing today on the Rectory Fishery on the River Wye. Uh, so we've had two days of on and off heavy rain, uh, and today uh, we have got temperatures of 17 degrees. It is cloudy and threatening rain. So there we go. We're just going to take our chances and see how we get on. I have uh, never fished here before. I um, found the beat, found the parking area on the road and I'm setting myself up in the hut. Uh, again, nobody here, so maybe they know something I don't, but you know, you don't stand a chance of catching fish unless you've got your uh, line in the water. So uh, I'm going to do it my best as always. Thank you so much to everybody who has uh, followed my journey so far. Thank you to my amazing subscribers and all the people making lovely comments. All of it is so constructive. Um, today I'll be, uh, I won't be naming any flies because as one of my subscribers, David, knows, I always get them wrong. <laughs> so I won't be naming them, but I will show you what I'm using. And you can tell me, if you really want to, what the names are of the flies I'm using in the comment section. Uh, but hopefully it's a guide for anybody who's just starting out. As I've said before, I am a novice uh, salmon fisherman. This is my first proper season. I, I tried it uh, maybe like a year or two years ago. Um, no, before the pandemic actually. Uh, before the pandemic, I went up to Scotland uh, for a week and fished on the River Nith, probably pronounced that wrong as well, um, in Dumfries and Galloway area. And loved it, didn't catch anything, but absolutely loved it. Uh, so this is my proper season as uh, just doing salmon. Uh, I, I do do trout as well because I do have uh, access to some trout beats and I do film that but really this season's all about salmon. So wish me luck. Today I am fishing with this tube fly. It's uh, black, uh, orange, yellow and has these like weird eyes on it. <laughs> I really know nothing. Uh, and I was asked uh, by one of the uh, people who made a comment uh, what my rod is. It's a uh, Shakespeare Oracle Scandi, 14 foot, nine inch, 10 weight. So there we are. And I've put on that, I've got a reel uh, by Shakespeare as well. And I actually have done a kit video. Uh, I have done a kit video um, on my channel as well, going into all the details. So I suggest you check that one out for more information. Fantastic.
got here? That's a trout, maybe. A trout, bloody trout. Oh, fuck's sake. Fucking trout. Good trout though, by all accounts. Oh. Sorry. I understand that uh, we're not going to be bothered with uh, canoe traffic on this section, um, which is good. There's n clearly not enough water for, um, for canoeists, I suppose. I don't know a lot about canoeing. Um, but it's a beautiful setting. There's lovely houses up there. Gosh, wouldn't I uh, I'd love to be able to own one of those? They'd be amazing, wouldn't they? the stream and let it fish through. Right, so changed my fly. The tube fly was far too heavy. Um, just kept catching the bottom and the trees and everything else. So changed over to this fly. Again, I don't know what this fly is called. If you know the name of this fly, uh, it's a double hook, black, a bit of red, and looks a little bit of yellowy stuff. Then uh, please put it in the comment section below. I bet I know that at least one of my subscribers will know the name of it, David. So if you if you know it, looking forward to hearing, uh, to reading the name of it. Cool. So I've had to move down, I've moved down the pool, fished through it, not a lot of, nothing showing really. And uh, unfortunately, there's so much um, of the bank side, which is just covered with all these trees and all this fallen debris. I was speaking to a lady on the riverside, walking a dog, who said that uh, a couple of years ago, there was a massive flood and uh, this is all that's been deposited downstream. And unfortunately, the, um, on the beat map it shows a footpath, but that ain't here. I certainly can't see it. I wouldn't know. I mean, up there, 
bit, there's a stairs, uh, like a steps going up. Um, but it, you just can't get to it. Um, I saw that when I was coming, coming down, uh, just fishing down the river. I'm just gonna have to wade up the river. I must admit, okay, there's a fishing hut. Nice one as well. Well appointed with a gas stove that doesn't work. And loads of cigarette butts on the floor inside, which was pretty disgusting. And um, yeah, just doesn't look very, uh, very professional. And I just think for, you know, 70 quid a day, pass this rock, for 70 quid a day, I think it's a joke. I mean, I'm fuck you now. I am starting to. Oh, I can't wade against this. This is really strong. It's funny, you don't really notice it when you're on the way down. Just I think for 70 quid. I just, I suppose I've been very lucky, very blessed Ooh. to have started my salmon experience up in Scotland where they really seem to care a lot more about the experience of the day. Certainly, and certainly on some of the beats that were, you know, they weren't fit, they were 50 pounds or 35 pounds a day a damn sight more easy to get to and to navigate I don't know, it just feels like people don't give a shit right well that's it it's just coming up after half past four and I fished the mill race uh, the mill stream the top or the neck of the uh, rectory uh, pool, I fished through the rectory pool, uh, fished the rectory pot and then I traipsed my way down to the run uh, but nothing doing. I did have a couple of long distance releases of um, little trout um, but I didn't put the camera on for it, it was just no point. Uh, I'm seeing trout jumping here and there, I mean this is probably a great trout uh, fishery but for salmon well you know again not enough water a um, bit depressed really uh, feels like a bit of a waste of time and feels a bit like a waste of money really I mean you know I'm still learning new things and getting more practice and doing all those kind of things but yeah the river Y has been um, for salmon it's been very disappointing um, for trout and the experience and doing all these other kinds of things and getting out in, the na in nature and seeing amazing sights oh, It's been a fantastic. So Yeah, you know um, I always, I'm, I'm an optimist at heart and so I always think tomorrow might be a better day I think that's what makes me such a keen fisherman um, Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video uh, my next fishery is Whitney Court, which is not far from here, so I'm expecting it to be probably the same um, as, uh, as today. So thanks again for your support. Please like and subscribe, this, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, gratefully received. Thank you so much for your support.